Good morning. So the Alliance Board of Directors developed the Health Transformation Awards as a way to recognize efforts that are really moving healthcare forward. We want to raise up those individuals or organizations that are doing the heavy lifting to improve the value of healthcare because we know that is not easy work. You'll find information in your folders, uh, your packets, about today's award winners and about the award itself. We want your help to identify other people or organizations who are leading the way to drive change in health care. Please let us know if you or if others that you know are making progress that will improve the value of health care. We want to learn from what you are doing and recognize you at this event next year. And there's some great awards that go with it. It's now my pleasure to present this year's first Health Transformation Award to Novo Healthcare. Accepting the award is Kurt Kubiak, Novo's founder and CEO. Novo Health is transforming the way healthcare is delivered and is paid for. Novo Health applies lean manufacturing concepts to over 60 outpatient procedures so that care is provided in a high quality, cost effective manner. Novo Health sets a bundled price, which they publish on their website, almost unheard of, published prices. As a result, employers and consumers know what they will pay in advance, and the savings are significant. As an example, the average industry cost of a lumbar fusion is $7,212. Novo Health's bundled price is $49,250, and that includes physical therapy. Based upon Novo's own analysis, self-funded employers can save 30% by using Novo Health compared to the traditional healthcare delivery system. Cost savings are only part of the Novo Health story. They also help employers with employee engagement, so consumers are better prepared to make informed decisions about their health and the care that they will receive. It is our pleasure to recognize and congratulate Kurt Kubiak and Novo Health. Boy, well, thank you so much, Annette, for, for the kind introduction, and I want to thank the Alliance for hosting this event today. It's great that I uh, have, that have had the pleasure of meeting many of you uh, in the audience and working side by side with you, because that's really what this is about. I think Cheryl gave us a really nice introduction in terms of how, how her organization and our organization really couldn't do the things that we do without the partnerships that we've fostered. Uh, so again, I really appreciate being recognized by this award. Um, I was going to talk impromptu, but this could go on very long, so I'm going to stick to my, my, my uh, prepared remarks. Um, first of all, thanking Cheryl for embracing innovation, really, and constantly moving healthcare forward. Your passion for listening to issues, uh, partnering for solutions, uh, and ultimately finding ways to work with your partnerships is what moves our healthcare system forward and what the, the healthcare system needs. And frankly, it's why I'm standing here today, due to our relationship. Uh, health transformation is not a destination, right? But rather a mindset toward a journey to improve healthcare. And the Alliance has advocated for continual improvement made over time to enhance quality, cost, and access to healthcare. And Novo shares these values, and together we embrace the challenge that we face with our partners, the employers, and the physicians that we represent. So the, the, the model of Novo Health is a little bit unique in that we represent both sides of the equation. We're partnering with employers, but also partnering with physicians, independent physicians, to deliver their care directly to uh, those employers that are engaged with us, similar to the Alliance. And the, the neat thing about this is that the physicians are equally excited about this opportunity. They want to be able to lower the cost of health care. They want to be able to see the employees that they can help and treat. And so this is an opportunity for them to participate and they're truly engaged and really excited about what we're going to be able to do together. I'm honored to receive this award from this organization for what it stands for. Uh, and I, I truly appreciate this opportunity uh, to make health care accessible and affordable for all of us. Thank you. Okay. 
It is my pleasure to present the next award to Promega Corporation. Uh, and accepting the reward for Promega is Darby Miller, the Director of Human Resources and Organizational Development, and Jen Makovec, the Director of Strategic Marketing. Promega Corporation is an innovator in designing and implementing a caregiver leave policy. As part of their employee health benefits, Darby and Jen were instrumental in creating this policy, and so Promega asked that they be here today to receive this award and recognized for their good work. Caregiver leave can apply to parents of newborns or older children, a spouse or partner, or aging parents. While the person being cared for is often the focus of attention, there is a growing realization that caregivers also need support. The scope of employee need was not well known, so rolling out this benefit required a leap of faith. On January 1, 2018, Promega implemented caregiver leave benefits that included paid time off for their employees, providing supportive care to an immediate family member with a serious medical condition. Full-time or part-time regular US-based Promega employees are eligible for up to two weeks of paid time off over a designated rolling 12-month period for ongoing situations. In the first year, 120 employees, which is 12% of those eligible, utilize the caregiver leave time. In 2019, seeing the success that they had, Promega expanded its caregiver leave program, moving beyond paid time off to assist with the social, the emotional, and the logistical needs that are often associated with caregiving. The program now includes bereavement and grief assistance, on-site workplace counseling services, referrals to aging and disability specialists, a peer-to-peer -peer support network for caregivers, and a circle of caring initiated by fellow employees. Please join me in congratulating Darby, Jen, and the Promega Corporation. Um, we just wanted to say thank you to the Alliance for recognizing um, this effort. It's been an amazing project to work on, a collaboration of several employees and more than just me and Darby. Um, and we really appreciate Promega's commitment to creating um, a culture that em supports employees through hard times in their lives. So thank you. The next award goes to someone from outside of our cooperative and our region. Um, changing healthcare really requires outside the box thinking. And so we see the importance of looking beyond local examples for inspiration and plan to make um, this a regular part of our health transformation award process in the future. Our final award winner this year is Marilyn Bartlett and the Montana State Employee Health Plan. So Marilyn is responsible for turning around the state of Montana's employee health benefit program um, by drastically improving its financial import performance without raising costs to employees or cutting benefits. Um, Marilyn was hired as the administrator of the program at, the, at a time when actuaries were projecting that um, by December of 2017, three years from the point where she was hired, plan reserves would be $9 million in the hole unless changes were made. In fact, um, in that three-year time period, plan reserves reached a positive $112 million. The cornerstone of Maryland's turnaround plan was the use of Medicare Medicare rates to benchmark and then reset hospital payments, which varied greatly at the time. Um, for hospital care, prices paid by the state of Montana's plan were as high as three times what Medicare paid. And the outpatient side was worse. Prices paid by their plan were as high as 600% of Medicare. 
Maryland wanted to pay a fair price covering the cost to deliver care plus a reasonable, reasonable margin, and she estimated that was equivalent to about 220 to 250% of Medicare. Getting hospitals to accept what in effect was a price reduction took determination plus a willingness to withstand conflict at all levels. Resolving to exclude hospitals that refused to accept the new rates made the difference in the end. Providing clear evidence of the impact that a large purchaser or a coalition of employer purchasers can have if we stick together. Maryland also found significant savings by moving to a transparent pass-through pharmacy benefit manager. In fact, her success in this area is now reflected in model legislation that has been adopted by the National Association of State Health Policy so that other states can replicate this success. Maryland's significant accomplishments recently led Fortune Magazine to rank her as number 13 on their list of the world's greatest leaders for 2019. We are so inspired by your work, Marilyn, and the results you have achieved. Please join me in congratulating Marilyn Bartlett and the Montana State Employee Health Plan. I'm not gonna put it down. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you, Alliance. Um, you're a phenomenal group. Uh, I wish I would have had you on my team backing me through this process. I am so impressed with the Alliance and what you do and bringing employers together to move forward. That was something I wasn't able to accomplish, was bringing employers together to chart this course, but we're starting to now in Montana, and I send the link to your site all every day to different large employer groups, public plans. Um, my dream would be to replicate the Alliance for Montana employers, providers, uh, to be able to move forward. So this award should really be about you and everything you do, because I think that you embody everything that I did, it's just you're doing it a little bit um, nicer <laughs> and bringing all the parties to the table. So this means a great deal to me and I love being here. And Cheryl, thank you for all the help you've given me and uh, thank you. Thank you, Marilyn.